Thank you, Kelly. The war in Israel now. Israeli military officials say their troops have surrounded Gaza City. IDF intelligence has identified the area as a center of Hamas activity. Soldiers are now focused on neutralizing explosives and other threats in that area. Commanders say a ceasefire is not on the table. Tomorrow, Secretary of State Antony Blinken will travel to Israel to push for a pause in bombing. That would allow for aid to flow in and the release of hostages. Earlier, President Biden said 74 Americans with dual citizenship were evacuated from the Gaza Strip. Others are still waiting. And we've been here since 7 o'clock, fighting to get in. And now we get trouble to get out, and I don't know what's going to happen. And just about an hour ago, you heard it probably. A bomb, came, a bomb came down, almost exploded everything. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm just waiting to get to the other side. And the State Department says it is working to evacuate the roughly 400 U.S. citizens and their relatives who want to leave Gaza. Also today, Dick Durbin became the first U.S. senator to call for a ceasefire in the conflict, saying it must be tied to a hostage release.